Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. Alright, so as you can see, I've already pulled up the local script in the starter GUI. Alright, we're going to change this to false, because we're going to make this loop never happen. Ever. Reason for this is because we are saying false. What that means is, when you only have one boolean, then it interprets it as it needs to equal true. This is a condition, guys. So booleans, just one boolean in a condition, it automatically assumes, oh, you want to check if it equals true. All right. So if it's false, it's never going to do this. Sure, we could comment it out, but I don't really want to. Um, anyway, we're just going to do char equals character, and then we're going to do... Actually, I don't think I ever explained what we're doing today. I, like, jumped ahead in this tutorial way ahead. Maybe I shouldn't start with the script open next time. What we are going to do today is we're going to make an FPS. Yeah. No, we're actually not making a first person shooter just yet, but we are going to show you guys how to make a camera lock first person. All right Now there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff so you could do to do this. All right, you could just make it to where you check if they're zooming out any past first person. You can make a GUI pop up, cover their whole screen, make it impossible to see anything, and say, please zoom in to continue playing. Or you could just make it easier and just lock them there so they have no choice. And that's what we're going to do. All right, all you have to do is player dot camera mode equals lock first person at least I think that's the right string out if it's not I'm just gonna default to the number which is one uh, because I, I, I remember the numbers better it just helps me but it this is better for tutorial purposes I think but you could also use one you could also use all right other choices are one or enum dot camera mode dot lock first person. Either of those two choices would work just fine. But sometimes I just think the string works better. Alright. So we're gonna press F6 here. You guys are going to notice we still have all of the stuff to make our field of view, our camera coordinate frame, our focus. All of that is still in the script, but since it's a while true do loop, it's not going to do anything. Why did we not get a character added event? And if we did, why, why didn't it work? I'm going to just try falling off here, and maybe it'll fire a character added event then. Who knows? There we go. All right, it fired that time. So guys, we aren't doing anything. We had one line, and Roblox is doing this for us. If we move our cursor, our player, it's a little glitchy looking. I think that's my screen recorder's fault. I think. Maybe. Probably. But we're spinning. If we just move the mouse, our entire character will turn that way. We'll see that way. Everything changes in first person. Yet we still can carry this. But see, it moves with us. That's proof where our character is turning. All right. So that is just like evidence of it. All right. So I'm trying to zoom out. Watch. I'm trying. I'm, I'm moving my mouse wheel. Not zooming out at all. I, I can move my camera easily. I can even get rid of my cursor by right clicking. It still works exactly the same. And I just think no cursor looks cooler, so I'm just going to hold the right click. Alright, now there is a problem that comes up. How can you leave the game now if your cursor stays dead center? Well, almost dead center. I, I honestly think my screen recorder is messing this up. But you just press escape on your keyboard. Now, no, it might be the same for Macs. If it's not the same on a Mac, don't ask me. 
you guys should know. I I don't know much about Mac keyboards to PC Windows typical keyboards. Um, but anyway, resume game, reset character. All of your stuff is here, and you can leave game. Your mouse cursor is now completely free. You leave the game, cursor's back to normal. All right, it's that simple. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.